The American Honey Producers Association invited me over to the annual meeting that was held in Sacramento, California this year, and so I could know more about the work they do. So in this video, we're going to show you three things. One, I'm going to show you what I saw. Second, I'm going to tell you my thoughts about the association. And third, I'm going to tell you some cool stuff that's coming to the channel. So stay tuned. I'm Roberto Boncorciani and this is Inside the Hive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. If you like bees and want to know more about them, please consider to subscribe and also hit the bell button so you don't miss a single video. The American Honey Producers Association meeting this year was held in California, in Sacramento, and it was very nice. Uh, it was a little chillier than I expected, but I had a great time. They have plenty of good restaurants, uh, coffee shops, very nice, interesting places to visit. I highly recommend it. It was my first experience with American Honey Producers Association, so it was my first visit to one of the, their meetings. The talks were very informative. I I have to say I learned a lot. They brought a variety of different people, different backgrounds, uh, researchers, uh, beekeepers, uh, people from the beekeeping industry, I'm on board. It was very, with plenty of good and rele relevant information. Um, I learned a lot. The event was uh, nice enough to allow me to record one of the talks. If you miss it, uh, I will leave a link here. Dr. Frank Rinkovich uh, talked about his research regarding varroa mite resistance to amithrax. I think it's a very important subject that we need to look at it. So uh, I record the whole uh, talk and they allow me to publish here. So you can find right here. I escaped from one of the talks to, to record uh, better the vendor area so I have more a, chance, a good chance to talk better with the vendors. They're not going to be busy taking care of other people. So what I can tell you, there was a lot of vendors, different technology coming to the market, different products. Uh, it was very, very interesting. I interacted with a lot of them. I even make a whole video about one of the technologies that I saw that they got my attention, and you can find that video right here. So very quickly before we go continue with the video to talk about my opinion about the association, I just want to reach out to my Patreon people to say one more time thank you very much for the support and to answer your questions, yes, I am doing a video about the new uh, genetically modified bacteria that can fight varroa and viruses that was recently published on Science magazine. So if you have questions and want the answer answered, please leave a comment in the comment section below or on Patreon. So if you're new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, please visit patreon.com slash inside the hive TV to be part of this community. Thank you one more time. The association is not new. They started in 1969 and since then they're working really hard to help the beekeeping industry. I have to say that I'm impressed with the work they do. They were very organized and they're different from other organizations that have been before. They're more toward commercial operations, they're more big operations, but without a doubt, I could see that the work they do is really relevant and can help everybody in the beekeeping industry. It is my personal opinion that the beekeeping industry, the beekeepers should be united uh, to move forward with issues. Um, but I cannot deny that sometimes to get some specific tasks done, uh, it's better to focus and I think that's exactly what this association is doing right now. They're sharply focused on big pictures, big problems in the beekeeping industry and they're really working hard to address those. After spending a lot of time with the board members, I talk with the president of the association, the vice president of the association, the past president of the association and many others. I could learn a lot about what they're doing and I have to say it's a lot of hard work and dedication to do so.
As I mentioned before, they're dealing with big problems. Uh, for example, we talk about honey fraud. It's something that I want to get involved now. We talk about dumping. People that are trying to mess up with the price of honey in, the, in our market here. Very, very big problem that we have now. Uh, we talk about uh, the development of possible uh, honey certification programs. We talk about the eLab program. They're doing a lot of different things at the same time. So if you want to know all the achievements in the past and the projects they are working right now, please visit them at their, their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. I also spend some time with researchers that are directly involved with the work with the association. Uh, I had the opportunity to talk with, the, I think, the majority of the research leaders of the USDA Bee Research Labs uh, in the country. I talked, for example, with Dr. Uh, Diana Cosfoster. Uh, I talked also with Dr. Robert Denka. I also talked with Dr. Jay Evans from Beltsville, Maryland. I also talked with Dr. Gloria de Grant Hoffman. So that was very nice. I could learn a lot about the projects they're doing right now and how they're helping the beekeeping industry. A very fun part of the trip was to, be, to go in the inauguration of the new USDA Bee Research Lab in California, uh, in California Davis. So it's a new USDA Bee Lab located in California. That's a great achievement. Everybody should be proud of that. Uh, to me, it was always a, a, a weird idea to uh, try to understand why California, one of the biggest states for beekeeping, uh, do not have their own USDA bee lab. So now apparently this, this is fixed it, and we have not only a new bee lab there in California, Davis, but also two new hires, two new research scientists, Dr. Arachi Seshadri and Dr. Julia Fine. They will be leading very important projects to help the beekeeping industry. Good luck for you guys. So now I have all this information and I learned a lot at the, at the meeting. And what I decide to do is to, to make a lot of different videos about each of these topics that we just talked about so you guys can be aware of the problems in more details. And before I continue and do those, uh, make those videos, I just want to invite you guys to participate. So if you, if you like the things we're doing here and have questions for me or for the association, um, suggestions of uh, things that you would like them to, to be fighting for the beekeepers, please leave a comment in the comment section below, uh, leave your questions there and I will try to address those questions, try to talk with the association about those questions and we can, and then this is going to be my guide, uh, my guidance to make the videos in the near future. So I, with that, I'll leave it here. Uh, thanks for watching InsideTheHive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys next week. Bye bye.